At the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, rows upon rows of flowers in cartons filled this cold room as the flights that would have transported them to Europe remained grounded for the fourth day. Workers here have been busy sorting flowers which have already reached maturity stage and can no longer be exported from those which can still survive for a few more days. But that is as far as it gets. None of the flowers is leaving this cold room yet. Sote zikienda usiku na mchana tunatuma kama 40 tons. Sasa sasa ya kuna hata tani moja. Tunanda sara hata kilo kumi kutoka itabu toke tujatuma hata kilo kumi. In normal circumstances, this is one of the busiest points in this company with workers offloading tons and tons of flowers for export. But for the last four days, business here has virtually come to a standstill. The Kenya Flower Council has indicated that between 5,000 and 6,000 casual workers in flower farms are set to lose their jobs in the next one week if the situation does not improve. There is no relief either for Kenya Airways passengers. Nine flights were cancelled and the airline has advised those who intended to travel between the 17th and 20th of this month to reschedule their flights. Further afield, an estimated three quarters of all flights in Europe were cancelled with about 20 countries closing their airspace. However, two internationally recognized airlines, Germans Lufthansa and Holland's KLM, have successfully carried out tests on their planes, even though both Dutch and German airspaces remain closed for now. The International Air Transport Association has predicted little or no improvement as the volcano continues to erupt and spew ash into the skies of Iceland. Franklin Masharia, Sunday Live.